Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dobbs here. Bring you guys the first episode of the GM Mode Commentary Series. That is right, boys. I know I'm going to get some hate for calling it GM Mode, not Franchise Mode. But guess what? It's GM Mode to me, boys. But anyway, we're going to be starting off by using the Toronto Maple Leafs. That is right, boys. Like I said in the last video, I was going to be doing a voting for which team to pick. Um, on my Twitter, and you guys vote for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I love to see it. That's good stuff. But, um, yeah, the voting was, uh, the Leafs had 38%. I believe Columbus trailed them with just 36 and then Ottawa was at 34 35 I'm not entirely sure, but the voting was really close. And, uh, yeah, you guys want to see the Toronto Maple Leafs, so let's bring Lord Stanley home to Toronto. All right, boys, so let's get going here. Gem mode name, or gem name, rather, Dobbs, there we go. Hit continue. All right, let's get to it. And quickly before we get started, I'm not going to be doing any of the budgeting or anything like that in the first series. If you guys want to see all the business aspect of the GM mode, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I can make that adjustment. It's just I don't think many people want to see it, just seeing as how the GM modes are long enough as it is. And it'll only make the videos longer. So if you guys do want to see it, I can add it. That's not a problem, but... I figured I'd just go with classic GM mode to start it off. So let's get to it here. Enough rambling on. So yeah, I'm turning off owner mode. So that features such as budgets, revenue, relocation, da 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 all that good stuff. That is off. So let me know if you guys want that on. I can make that adjustment. It's just I need enough people uh, wanting it uh, to make that adjustment. So let me know, boys. Uh, fancy draft is off. Moral meetings will leave on. CPU trades will turn that off. Waivers will leave on because I've played a couple seasons of GM mode already and the waivers aren't too bad So I'll leave them on but if someone ridiculous gets claimed on off of waivers. I'll just turn it off It's not a big deal uh, Assistance co coach at lines will turn that off and we are good to go boys. There we go So I'm gonna be just gonna be going through all the rules and sayings I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see that so I'll make a quick cut here and I'll be back with you guys in just a moment all right, and we're back, boys. I made a couple minor changes, nothing too crazy. We turned injuries off. We reduced the franchise mode length to 5 instead of 25. Uh, CPU trades are off. Difficulties at pro. Uh, trade difficulties hard, and everything else is pretty much the same. So there we go for the settings. We're good there. Advanced settings. Didn't have to change anything there, so we're all good. And uh, we're ready to go. Start the career. Let's get going here. Keep the salary cap on, obviously. All right, boys, the Toronto Maple Leafs, working with my boys, Lou Lamorello and Mike Babcock. All right, come on, let's get to work here. Let's bring Stanley Cup home. I know Toronto's been waiting a ridiculous amount of time. It's been too long, boys. we got to bring Lord Stanley home, okay? With Austin Matthews, Morgan Riley, we've got a bunch of prospects already in the pool. Um, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good season. It's going to be a good overall series. I wouldn't say Morgan Riley is a prospect, really, but you know what I mean. Good young players in the pool. I'm very excited to get this going. All right, boys, so let's see what we got to work with here. We'll make some line changes in this episode, but it's nothing set in stone, so you guys can always let me know for different line combinations and stuff like that in the comment section below. And, uh, yeah, I'll be listening to all your guys' comments, so let me know what you guys want to see in this series, all right? But uh, this is what the edit lines have so far. We got Milan McCulloch, Tyler Bozak, and James Van Riemsdyk for the first line. Uh, second line, we got Kadri, Lupo, and Komarov. Third line, Matt Martin, Peter Holland, and Brooks Like. And then on the fourth line, we got William Nylander, Colin Greening, and Brandon Prost. So not too, too bad. The depth is kind of lacking, but we got a pretty decent core on forwards. I mean, I, I know Austin Matthews is in the minors right now. He's probably already like an 84, 83, I'm guessing. So um, it, overall, not too bad on forward. Our players are just going to get even better, so... Um, overall, not too bad. Not the weakest, but not the greatest. So I'm looking forward to getting our forward core even better because we have a ton of prospects in the prospect pool, and I'm really looking forward to developing those players. So uh, defensively, we got Morgan Riley and Roman Polak on the top two. Uh, t uh, bottom, or I guess the second pairing, Jake Gardner and Matt Hunwick. Matt Hunwick needs to get off the team immediately. Uh, just too old, not the greatest player, and... I mean, he can't play top six, but 
I do want to develop Connor Carrick. If he's, yeah, he's in my top two. So we could probably get away with playing him uh, this year. We could just send Carrick down and then get a filler spot on the second uh, pairing. Who knows? Let me know what you guys want, want to do for defense. Um, I think I'm probably just going to send Carrick down and just sign like an 83 or an 84 defenseman in free agency. Or we can make a trade. Not entirely sure what I want to do there just yet, but um, defensively, we're really not looking the greatest. Morgan Riley's going to get even better, so that's a good piece there. Might pair him with Jake Gardner. We could do something like that. You know, Roman Polak and then Cowan right there. And then Hunwick can um, help out Carrick there on the third pairing. So I don't know exactly what we're going to do defensively, but overall we're just not that strong on defense whatsoever. And goaltending, we are looking like that. So an 88 Frederick Anderson at 26, which is fucking solid. That uh, is very good. Uh, and then we got 82 Jonas Enroth. So not too bad overall. And this is how we're looking like in the AHL. So look at that. Austin Matthews, 85 overall. Even better than what I expected. So this guy's going to be an absolute beast. Definitely playing in the NHL this year. He's listed as a second line forward, so... I'm, not, I'm probably going to play him on the second line. I was thinking about putting him on the first line, but I'm not too sure. I'll let you guys weigh in on that. What should I do? Should Matthews get first line time right away, or should I let him ease it into the second line role? And then if he's doing really well, we can slot him up and then put Kadri down. I'm not too sure just yet, but I was thinking most likely um, we're probably going to play him on the second line. So... We'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think. I always read all the comments, so your voice will be heard. I just, I'm open to anything, boys. Just let me know. And then second line, we're looking like this. I'm not going to go through each and every player. You guys can just look for yourselves. Uh, there's a lot of older players in here that I need to switch out, so I'll do that in a, just a minute. But that's what the team's looking like off the bat. And then defensively, we're looking like this. Victor Love, Andrew Campbell. Mikus, Valiev, and then Nielsen and Hull. And then in goaltender, we got Antoine Bebo and Garrett Sparks. So, not the greatest, not the worst, but overall, not too bad. We got some pretty solid prospects. I mean, Reichel and Hyman uh, could play right now if I really wanted to. I'd probably play Reichel right away, but I'll give Hyman another year because he's considered a minor scoring forward. So, I'll just let him tear it up down here for one more year. Uh, but overall, we got some pretty decent players. Not too bad. So I'm really looking forward to developing them. And the team's just going to be looking pretty solid. I'm looking forward to it, boys. All right, boys. And we're back. So this is what the NHL squad's looking like. I'm not going to go through each and every player. I'm just going to let you guys see for yourselves. Forwards, we're looking like that. Like I said, I'm open to any suggestions, boys. But I'm feeling that this is our best chance for, like... I don't know, for developing our players and having a good, I guess, balance for lines, I don't want our first two lines to be stacked and then our bottom, our third and fourth line just be absolute garbage. So I kind of even it out. I do like our third line with Bozak down there. So I don't know. I, I like this. I like this little balance. We'll see how it goes. I'm open to any suggestions, boys. So let me know what you guys think about the forwards there. And then defensively, this is what I was thinking. You guys are probably going crazy thinking, Jared Cowan with Morgan Riley, are you crazy? Well, when I was doing GM mode, Jared Cowan and Morgan Riley played really, really well together. It was crazy. I was not expecting it, but uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll see if it can uh, happen again. They play well, but if not, we can make the changes uh, very fast. So don't worry, boys. And then second pairing, we got Jake Gardner and Roman Pollock. I mean, it kind of evens, it makes things better just depth-wise, once again. So if Cowan can pick up the slack and actually play pretty good, then our second pairing is looking amazing. I mean, Jake Gardner and Roman Pollock back there, that's pretty damn good. I'm pretty impressed with that, so not too bad there. And then third pairing, we got Matt Hunwick and uh, Connor Carrick. So not the greatest third pairing, but also not the worst. Connor Carrick could probably play... Um, in the AHL, but I want to get him some minutes this year, and we're just going to roll with it. So we'll leave him on the team for this year, and then goaltending, we are looking like that. Also go through the uh, special teams real quick. You guys can have a quick look. Power play is looking like that. Four-man power play. Penalty kill. And three-man PK. So there we go, boys. Enough of the adding the lines. Let's get going to some simulation here. 
Oh, and before I forget, we gotta name some captains, alright? We gotta go with some captains and alternates. Alright, so, I'm gonna think about who I want for captain. Uh, I don't know, I'm not too sure, I'm thinking of two players. I'm not too sure who I want to give captaincy to, but, um, I'm gonna think about it. So, I'll cut it here, boys, and I'll be back with you in just a moment. Alright, boys, and we're back. So, this is what I was thinking, no captains this year. We're gonna go with three A's. James Van Riemsdyk has one, Leo Komarov has one, so our two vets, and Morgan Riley. So we don't have a captain just yet, boys. You, they gotta work for it. We gotta see who wants it. Who truly wants that captaincy? Who wants to, you know, take all that pressure on? Who can handle it the best? We'll just have to see. But uh, let's get going here. We, we're done with the roster moves, the captains, the jerseys, all that good stuff is under control. And let's get going to some simulation here. Let's see how the Leafs uh, do. Let's go here. So let's get the preseason underway, and let's get going. Let's get going, boys. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Come on, Leafs. Off to a good start. Come on. Let's get a win here. Come on. I know it doesn't matter for because it's preseason, but I want to get off to a good start, and we'll start off by scouting in the QMJHL. Uh, we'll do forwards for six weeks. Why not? There we go. Get that out of the way. And we start off with a 4-1 loss. Of course it has to be 4-1-2. Oh, no, this is not good. No, nope, we're going to have to, no. We'll play one, we'll play two more games. If we don't get a win, uh, this is just, no. No, that's not going to work. Yeah, we did not perform in preseason well whatsoever. Come on, let's get a couple wins here. There we go, we got an OT win over Boston. Come on, can we get one over Buffalo? Come on. Come on. Oh, and a one nothing loss over Buffalo. Jeez. We're going to be neck and neck with those guys. Um, we're looking pretty similar. Jack Eichel, Sam Reinhardt, just really good forward prospects and just a really good young team over there. Uh, but, yeah, let's go. Come on. we got to get a win here, boys. There we go. I don't know what happened with my mic there, boys, but I do apologize. We got an OT loss to Ottawa to start off. Not too impressive that. Uh, we'll play five. We'll play five games here. See how the team does, and then we can make some adjustments from there. Cause I have a feeling this isn't gonna be the right mix off the start. So, oh, and the, as I say that, three-one win over Boston. So that's good. Come on, can we keep it going? There we go, five-three win. Come on, and then we get a loss to Minnesota. Come on, can we bounce back here? Come on, over the Chicago Blackhawks. It's a big game here. Four and one. Come on, boys. Come on. Look, yes, and we get a 2 1 win. That's a big win over Chicago. Good stuff. We'll keep going with it. The team's looking pretty decent, not too bad. Uh, we just got to keep getting the wins here. We got to get some OT points, obviously. And we just got to keep it up. And as I say that, we got two regulation losses back to back. Come on, boys. Another one to Montreal. Another one to the Islanders. All right, that's enough. We had a pretty good start there, and then we just trailed off completely. That is not acceptable. Um, I know you guys are probably saying, well, Dubs, aren't you going for a bottom or a top pick? I do, but at the same time, I think we have a pretty good roster where we can make a push for the playoffs. I know it's, it's probably our best bet to go for that low pick, but I think we have a pretty decent roster, to be honest. Uh, we're going to make a couple changes here. All right, boys, and we'll be back in, in just a moment. All right, boys, we made some changes to just the forwards. I'm going to leave the defense the same and see if that has anything to do with it. So we're just going to roll with our forwards just like that. Hopefully we can get some wins. If not, I don't know. I don't know what to make of the season, boys. We'll get some simulation done. We'll probably get to around 20 games or so, 25 games, and then we'll see where we're at. So let's just go with what we got and roll with it, all right? So come on, boys. We gotta get a couple wins under our belt here. I don't wanna be completely shit, but I don't wanna be the greatest team either. I know we gotta get those draft picks. I know, I'm well aware, boys, but I don't know what I wanna do so far. I really don't. We're just gonna have to see how the team performs and then just go from there in the early in the early bit of the season. Cause if we don't get off to a pretty decent start, I think we're just gonna bail for it. Just get that top pick and then just go all out next year. That's probably the logical thing to do, but then again, I always want to make the playoffs. Always want to, so hopefully we can. Freddie Anderson needs to pull his weight, and the defense needs to step up big time. And I think that's that's got something to do with why we're losing right now. 
I th- we're scoring goals, that's for sure. I mean, we got three uh, goals there, um, four goals there, two goals. We're scoring goals, just we got to keep a, the puck out of the net. See, yeah, there we go. Oh, man, we're just such a, we're kind of all over the place, really. And there we go, win, loss, win, loss. It's just, we can't get anything going. Can't get anything going. We'll just sim up to here, finish the month off. And hopefully we end off on a positive note. If not, we can make some adjustments. But, yeah, we're just... I don't know. We can't get a streak going here. Come on, we'll get a win here, probably. Yeah, and then we're going to get a lot. Oh, there we go. We got two wins in a row. That's not bad. Both OT wins. Come on, can we get make it a third, please? Big game against Washington here. Yes, and a 5-2 win. They had a really good record there, too. Uh, and another win over the Oilers. Let's go, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, we got four wins in a row there, I believe. And come on. Vancouver's not looking too good. Jeez, I feel bad for Vancouver. I'm sorry, boys. But yeah, we got three wins there. Three, four, so four in a row. Then we got the loss. So not bad. Not too bad. If we can keep getting like three wins here and there and then two losses and stuff like that. Just, you know, get more wins than losses is just what I'm getting at here. Come on, boys. Let's just keep it going. 11 and 10. I know that's not the greatest record, but I want to have a positive record before we end this video. Come on, boys. And a shootout loss to Vancouver. That ain't going to help. Come on now. Let's. The Marlies are looking good. 11, 7, 3, 12, 7, 3 now. So not too bad in the AHL, but NHL squad, we got to pull it together here. Come on, get a win over Boston. There we go. 4-2 win. Big win. And another one. That's what I'm talking about. So we can definitely score. There we go. There we go. And then a loss there. So we had uh, two four-game winning streaks. Um, so we were overall 8-2 and two there. That was not bad. So um, we're 15-11-3 in the NHL and then 14-7-4 in the AHL. So overall, we're not doing too, too bad here, boys. We're not doing bad. We're going to have to look at stats, see who's producing, who's not. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll get a little bit more simulation done. And uh, we'll call it a video, boys. We'll see. Let's see here. All right, so 24 points in 29 games for Leo Komarov. He's absolutely killing it since I made that change. So that's good to see. Bozak getting 22 points in 29 games played on the third line there is perfect. Matthews getting 20 points in 29 games played. That's perfect, too. Oh, my. Just everyone's producing well. See, offensively, we're doing very, very good. Willie's already got up to an 82. Matthews at an 87. Offensively, we're looking pretty damn good, boys. I mean, JVR down there with 15 points and a minus 8. I don't know what to make of that. But offensively, we're doing pretty damn solid. I'm not going to lie. It's just a matter of getting the puck out of the net. Just keeping the puck out of the net and playing solid defensively. And then let's see how Freddie's doing here. Um, there we go. And for goaltending, we're not looking the greatest. Our goaltending could be a lot better. 13-10 uh, and 10 so far for Freddie Anderson. 9.10 save percentage. 9.16 for Enroth. Enroth is doing pretty average, I guess. He's, he's doing what he needs to do as a backup. But Freddie Anderson needs to pick it up a little bit. So... That's all right, but hopefully our defense can just get the keep the puck out of the net. I'm, that's all I'm hoping this year because if we can keep the puck out of the net, our forwards are just gonna flourish and just absolutely take over. Come on, uh, we'll we'll simulate up to here and call it a video, boys. We've done quite a bit of simulation in the first episode. I was only expecting like 25 games or so, but uh, it's whatever. And there we go, a big win over uh, Pittsburgh Penguins, 5-4, five, five, so that's good, good stuff. Uh, the scout, there we go, uh, we'll put it out to the O, we'll go forwards for six weeks, there we go. And let's see if we can get another win here, come on. Oh, and a 6-1 loss over Anaheim, that is brutal. Oh, that's rough, and then we bounce back with two wins, so that's nice. We're looking not too bad. See what I'm saying, boys? The record, I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. You could definitely make playoffs. There we go. Okay. At least we got a point there. Um, I'm amped. Holy. 19, 12, and 4. Not too bad to start off. I mean, we don't have the greatest roster, but our forwards, if they can keep it up, I mean, I could see a slip in the wild card. 
It's just, I don't know what I want to do just yet, boys. I really don't. We'll look at the stats one more time, see who's producing again. And uh, we'll go to the AHL and do the same there, see who's producing down there. Because they're not doing too bad either. I think they're 14-7-3 down there, if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah, overall, I can't complain. Leo is just absolutely killing it. 32 points in 35 games played. Out of boy. Maybe Leo needs to see. Who knows? Should we slap Leo to see? I'm not too sure. Let me know if you guys want to see Komarov with the C. I, I could do it. I don't know, though. We'll have to see, boys. Uh, and then William Nylander, 24 points in 35 games played. That is very good. Bozak with 24. Kaji with 23. Matthews with 22. See, our forwards are producing... Like, look, Morgan Riley, 20 points on the back end. Like, we're doing good here offensively. I'm not going to lie. Already at an 88, too. So, I mean, things are looking good, boys. Not going to lie here. I know a couple minus players, but what are you going to do? This is what we're looking like in the AHL. We are doing just fine. We're top three. We're doing phenomenal. Just got to keep it up. The forwards got to keep playing well. And look at that, Kirby Reichel leading our team. 31 points in 29 games played. I knew it would be a good idea just to leave him down there for one more year. I was thinking about bringing him up. I mean, it does say fourth line forward, but if he can keep getting like well, better well-rounded stats like he's doing now, the shot blocking, uh, the hand-eye, the agility, all that good stuff, he can keep developing down there and just keep tearing it up. It would Boost his confidence. And look at Hyman, 81, got up two spots. See you know what I'm saying? They're just, they're getting good. They're getting good overall stats, and I'm like, I like to see that as good stuff. And overall, we're just, we're doing good. We're doing good as a team. I like it. That's good stuff. And we'll go to the NHL, and we'll look at the stats there, see what we're uh, doing in the NHL. Come on, let's see. And we are, where are we? Oh, so we're fourth in the Atlantic. I'm guessing we're going to be like 10, maybe 13, I'm guessing. And the, we're 11th, so not too bad. I would like to be in the top 10, but an 11th place team, that's not bad to start it off, boys. We're above 15, so that's good to see. We're above the Chicago Blackhawks and, and the Penguins, actually. So we just got to keep it up, boys. The young players are playing good. The forwards are doing well. It's just a matter of keeping the puck out of the net. And I think we can address that with a trade or two. It's just I don't know who to go after. So let me know if you guys have any ideas on who I should trade for. Should I trade for like a defensive defenseman, a two-way? What type of player should I bring in to help the back end out? Let me know in the comments, boys. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, guys, for more GM mode commentaries. That is right, boys. Peace. Above. I'm miles above you